It's about old Saul changing signs, it right? It is. The sun is on the move, leaving the intense, I, I think, crazy sign of Scorpio and going into the much more mutable fire sign, reasonable, ruled by Jupiter sign of Sagittarius. I think just in general, that's good for just an easing of crazy tensions. So, and boy, has uh, it been crazy here as of Yeah, yet. I mean, literally the last month or so, you just kind of go, what? So I, I'm thinking that that's going to ease a bit. I'm hoping mm -hmm. that that eases a bit with the sun going into Sagittarius. So um, for Sagittarians, the sign, and it does it on Tuesday, so which is a very cool thing. For Sagittarians, they are going to step out of the shadows. They've been the last month or so, they've been kind of like biding their time, holding their tongue, evaluating what's kind of going on, not really deciding what to do. But now that Saturn is moving out of their sign and the sun is going into their sign, they're like, I, I think of like the munchkins coming out, you know, when Glinda's saying, come out, come out wherever you are. It's a good time for Sagittarians to put forth their interests. For Capricorns, not so much. Good time to take a step back. It's the end of their solar year. They really are the Grinches of the Zodiac, because they have no energy, they have no wherewithal, it's the end of their solar year. You just want to take a step back, kind of review stuff, and not really commit to doing too terribly much other than eating maybe Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. For Aquarians, it's in the 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. It's a very cool time to be an Aquarian. The career garbage that's gone on for the last 30 days is over for them, and, and they get to make, they get to work with a group. So the group helps the Aquarian achieve its goals and objectives. For Pisces, the next 30 days are professionally oriented, and they really need to kind of just stay out of the line of fire, not, not attend any fights unless they're specifically invited, um, and wait and see kind of what shakes out before committing one way or the other. It's been a long two and a half years, and they really want to wait a little bit before they decide who they're going to back. For Aries, legal matters, educational matters, important matters at a distance. There's long distance travel in store for them over the next 30 days or so. But the important thing is the law is on your side. Um, when it is, you really want to go ahead and use it. Gotcha. For Tauruses, um, it's going to be all they can do to keep going. No, no, I mean, really, no, it's, it's no. like they have one thing after another after another, and they're going to have to make themselves put one foot in front of the other because if they're going to rely on just, oh, natural energy, there's none there. You know, it's really going to take the, and if anybody can overcome adversity, it's a Taurus, because they are determined and they don't quit even when their body's going, please give me a break, so. That's my wife, Pat. Yeah, she can collapse in a heap later on. Um, for Geminis, it is going to be in their seventh house of partners, um, intimate one-to-one -one relationships, as well as open enemies. And Geminis have had, um, they've been working really hard at just trying to do their job to the best of their ability. Uh, and they've been sort of thwarted in a lot of ways. And then now they find out really who their friends are and aren't and who their allies are and aren't. And they may find they have more foreign allies, meaning somebody not necessarily, you know, in a country that's not good to women, but people who are very different than them. Actually, they find they have similar interests and they can align and form some kind of unholy alliance oh. to get what they want. For cancers, it's nothing but hard work. It's in their sixth house of work, health, responsibility. So I'm guessing they're the ones cooking Thanksgiving dinner. Um, but it's really more a matter of just doing your job to the best of your ability, not worrying about what other people are doing. And, and also to deal with some health matter they've been procrastinating dealing with. For Leo's favorite time of year, most fun time mm -hmm. of year for Leo's, the sun in their fifth house. They love everything about Thanksgiving to Christmas. They like the holidays. They like the fun, the festivities, the frolic, the good time, the creative stuff and the love and they really get to feel the love it's really a very cool thing for them and our christmas wish and all the yeah details. all of I'm the just, things that are so good and, and that you love doing not because of any other reason other than it's a gift of your love which is a very cool thing yeah for virgos they need to stick close to home they need to there are things at home they need to deal with they've been procrastinating doing it like they've had other things they've had to do um, and this is the final thing after two and a half years finally getting your home exactly where you want it to be for Libras, the pace of their day-to-day -day living is about to pick up to warp speed, so no dawdling, Andrew. They have places to go, people to see, things to do, stuff to put into motion, short distance, short duration travel. This is like here to Ocala, here to Orlando, not here to Mars. Um, and they learn something pretty useful about their world. And then for the last sign for Scorpio, it's about the money. It's about making money. It's about finding a way to make more This is not money that falls out of the sky on you. This is an earned income kind of thing. And they get the chance because they've been broke for almost two years to really kind of refill their coffers a bit. So I, I'm hoping to God it's good news for everybody with the sun going into Sagittarius because I know 
I personally am looking forward to it. Well, me too. Happy Thanksgiving. And to everybody, no matter where you wake up on Thursday morning in the United States, you've got to be thankful that you're here because here is so much better. Light years ahead of uh, any, almost any other place on the planet. So. You got that right. And I'm thankful for you and Andrew and Q105 and Happy United States. See you next week. Always a pleasure.